come and hear five very well positioned people talk about what's going to happen in London. That's why they come. They, they want to know what is going to happen in London in 2017. You always get an optimism bias when you're doing this sort of thing because all these people represent companies or organisations. So, so I was trying to sort of compensate a bit for that inevitable optimum bias and actually probe some of the potential weaknesses in, in their position. And you know, London does have a lot of challenges and problems to, to, to face. Obviously Brexit, nobody really knows how that's going to impact. Whether it's hard, soft or whatever Brexit, what's going to happen to the City of London and all the big occupiers who are, who are currently in London? Chris Grigg was reasonably optimistic that you wouldn't see this big outflow of occupiers, but he's the first to admit, who knows, in the, in the longer term. For 2017, I don't think that's an impact. I think where London has a much bigger problem is still around the whole housing agenda. How you find the land to produce the sort of housing that people really need. And we had a lot of rather interesting discussion around high-end versus more affordable housing. Does it matter if you lose the high-end because of the government's taxation regime? Slightly mixed sort of views on that from the panel. But I think what everybody was clear about is we've got to find ways of upping housing provision. And that will also impact on commercial because people are not going to have offices in London if they can't employ the right sort of people and the right sort of people aren't going to come if they haven't got somewhere to live. Obviously, what large occupiers say they are going to do is of huge importance to people who are either developing or investing in or asset managing large office buildings in London. So we need to have an eye to where that demand is going. The problem is nobody really knows. And all you can look at are the short-term numbers. And what Chris was saying, in the short term, he is not seeing a problem. I don't think we should be deeply pessimistic. I think we've got to be measured and sensible. I think there'll be a lot of people saying, well, I'm not going to make a massive investment, but I'm not going to stop investing. So, you know, I, I think it'll be a sort of, I'm afraid it's rather boring, it'll be a sort of steady, steady as she goes. And actually, maybe that's fine, because London is so way ahead of the rest of the country, it's been doing so fantastically well, that actually steady as she goes won't feel that bad.